episode of Real Talk with Money Precious. It's QPM TV, baby. Don't go there. I'll be back after the break to introduce the person with me here to talk about some certain things. You know how we used to do it. Don't go nowhere. that by the time we're back on the break I will tell you who I have with me today is no other than a very beautiful girl she's beautiful she's talented she's good at what she does and it's no other than Kiki herself DJ Kiki Hi. nice to have you, Thank you girl you look good Thank you so how have you been oh, I'm cool. I love your hair Thank you. and your jeans <laughs> your shoe I love everything so Thank which you. one are you living with me Ah, anyone you want. To. Mm. I know you will go for this. I would have loved to. You see, I already cut my hair. Oh, I so. love your hairstyle. Ah, people say that all the time. Thank you, thank you. So, before I move into the main thing, who is DJ Kiki? Ah, DJ Kiki is just a normal person mm -hmm. with a big passion. Yeah, passion for what? For DJ. Okay. DJing. Really. So if you have, if you you ask to describe yourself with one word, what would you say you are? Oh, wow, 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 wow! This one is big. Mm. One word, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just one. I'll say I like to. I what kind of A hustler. Yeah, oh. hustler. Probably <laughs> hustler. Yeah, because like I like doing things that are different from the normal. Okay. So let's say hustler. So, so before you venture into DJing. How did your parents take the your decision with the kind of career you chose? Um, I just like it wasn't like a decision because mm -hmm. my brother started DJing, DJing yeah. so like it normally uh, take me along with him when he goes to parties. And and your parents are uh, never but, they, were, they, they didn't have problem with that. Okay. So like I normally go with him, and sometimes they even forced me to like let's go. I say no, I'm not in the mood. You know, and he, like. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I end up being there with him almost all his parties. And so your yeah. parents were cool with it. So yeah, your yeah. parents are just cool with yeah. your car with the career you chose. Yeah. So what is what inspired you to become in the DJ? Uh, I've always like as it for say, the music or for what? No, as I said, the it's, money. It's no, it's not even the money. It's just like as I said, I'm the kind of to, uh, to, to boy girl. Mm -hmm. You understand? Boy? So, yeah, a boy girl. So like. <laughs> I, I sometimes I dress like a guy. Yeah. So from there, like I find attractive doing other stuff, norm, uh, things different from the normal. Okay. Understand? So part of this is also like this. My brother taking me to clubs and uh, parties and me uh, playing, seeing, playing. So from there, little by little, I started having interest in DJ. But I'm curious, why did you decide to go into DJ and not something different? I just find it attractive, like something interesting, different from the normal. Wow. So, how has it been for you being uh, a female yeah. DJ in Europe? It's been tough, very tough, yeah, because the when I feel, yeah, I know. Because when you're a female, they think like uh, you, you don't have that potential yeah. to confront with the males and other people are better. So, mm. you have to prove to them that you can do it, you can do it better than them. That's so, my challenge. So, like, yeah, so how do you how do you feel when people compare you to the male DJs? How do you feel? Ah, when it's good because sometimes I show myself, like I show them that um, it's not only the guys that is capable of doing this. Like I can also do it. You understand? So them saying, ah, this guy is good, man. It's makes me feel good. Wow. So you've never received any negative com any negative uh, mm, comparison. Negative, from people. no, negative, no. But like people, they always try to encourage me. Yeah. To do more and advice me, and it's also from like uh, when I hear different DJs playing, I try to focus on what they play so that from there I can pick which one. Have you ever felt disappointed? Uh, from like when I play, yeah, when you play, mm, it has happened because, like, maybe there was uh, a show I played, like, I'll say, No, I would have do better than that, you understand? But 
this thing is about focusing because if you are not in good mood, yeah. you just play nonsense, just play anyhow, it's understand? True. But when you're in good mood and you're concentrated, you're prepared. Yeah. Have you also ever okay. feel disrespected by anybody mm, or your fellow actually, DJs? Or actually, whatever? no, but like you really understand it. <laughs> Understand oh, you are being of you. Wow. I can I can I can well I can't understand but I can imagine yeah. how it is. Because like for example you, know, you have you, you have a guy yeah. and you mm -hmm. and you guys are playing in the same place. Mm -hmm. They feel like like this is what I said, so what you are doing to demonstrate this is yeah. about believing in yourself yeah, and what you're doing. knowing that you can do you can show them that you are, you are capable of doing Even if it's like five minutes they give you, just give them that. That's five best. minutes. You have the best. Yes. Yeah. So do you do you think you get enough um, uh, you get enough credit as a female DJ in the industry? Yes. Let's say the fact that I'm a female is also helping me. Really? Helping because, you in what Yeah, you? Uh, helping me why I say so. Uh, because, you're beautiful. Yes. So. And they always see guys. Like immediately, yeah, they always see guys as DJs, but when you come out to be a female, and hey, you, know, you dressing all sexy dress, and all that, sex and everything, flipping so, your hair, yeah, hairs on fleek and all that, <laughs> all these long things. So, it's something different, you know? yeah. I like it, it's just right from all this stuff. Yeah, so how do you generally handle your male fans? Ah, your male admirers? The dressing now, the dressing, the setting, the makeup, everything, just set them and stuff. Mm -hmm. How do you set them? So that like, I, like for example, I have my own stylist. Like okay. when I when they book me, when I go to perform like maybe club or yeah. other places, I have my stylist to do a customized dress for me. Wow, that's yeah. huge. Her name is Flix B. Flix B Culture. Hello, Flix B. <laughs> that was very nice to understand. Okay. So, like, I still try to help her. Like, I probably, I think you should introduce me to her because I think I need some customized. No, I will. She's very thing. good. I hope she's no, she doesn't charge too much. <laughs> no, there is money. Money hardly come back these days. <laughs> so no, she doesn't charge that much. So. If you aren't a DJ, what else would you be? Oh, I think I would be a singer. So basically, you love music. Yeah, I love music because I've always been singing in, in the choir. Everybody sings in the choir, like also yeah, in like, the shower too. No, but like I've always had that thing for. So for what makes you think you you ain't gonna venture into music someday? Aren't you? Like you it's know, my album, it's my album. Of happen. course, I because think nowadays DJs have been uh, beginning to go into. So say, let me just start by DJ. Like when I get to that point, then we we'll see how it goes. So um, last few months back, I th I believe that was January. You you came to perform in Torino. Yeah, I came so, two times. Huh? Oh, you've been here twice. Yeah, I came December for King of Us, the night we came. Yeah, the night King of Us. That yeah. was I think twenty fourth. Mm -hmm. Then I also came on the first of uh, January. So how was the was the love? Was how? Like I really I wasn't expecting that I was going to get much love like that, but I'm happy. It's really so Reno is one city when you're doing good, they support you. Yeah. But if you ain't doing no good, <laughs> they'll break down your career. And from that stage, you begin to yeah. receive some bottles. Exactly. Now the first time when I play was at on the 25th of 24th, the 25th of December mm -hmm. at King of Us show. I was really scared. Yeah. Because I was saying, man, this place is. They already told me that, so you know people they are... Mm. They show love though, they yeah, really I show know. love. If you want to know your career, if it is really booming or if you're doing the right thing, I think the first place to start is with Torino. Yeah. Because actually. while you're at stage, while you're on stage, they tell you yeah. you're good. And they, with the way they, they pamper you, the way they give you the credit. But if you aren't good, you begin to hear from the background, go away from that job, exactly. be this, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So I always advise people if you're into any career, it's better you just come try yourself here. So now let's go into a little bit some thin, thin, thin oh. relationship. So, <laughs> are you in a relationship with anyone? No. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like The that? cameraman is smiling. <laughs> Even the production manager is smiling too. I'm single and searching. <laughs> She's single, she's searching. I'm single and searching. But other male admirers and male fans, she's single. <laughs> but aren't you a very, very street person in case they want to like approach you? Do you always be like, no, 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 go away? Mm, or you are, actually, I don't are know you a choosy any... type? Yeah. So that they would know if they want to come um, I'm a choosing you. type and tell them, don't tell me. I'm a, I'm a choosing type, but sometimes I don't even give them face. But now I'm open. Ah, I'm open. It doesn't seem just... like that. <laughs> Oh, no, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. Seriously, the 
that is up with our So you my number is on the <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we should <laughs> Well oh I God. think maybe for those of, for those of you who don't know her social media handle, maybe you can tell them too. Your social media handle, ah, okay. Facebook. Okay, I have Facebook, Kiki at the and Instagram. Instagram, uh, DJ Kiki. So you underscore. See, go look for her. Then Snapchat, Kiki uh, dot K. So you can begin to slide now. <laughs> slide, but not to slide. May not go for. I'll be. <laughs> so I would like um, really nice of you to give advice to those who you may be aspiring to become a female DJ like you. What advice do you have? Uh, the first advice I would, I would say is like always put anything you want to do in prayers. Yeah. It's very, very important. How well do you pray? I pray a lot. Okay. Like mostly at night. Okay. Sometimes I even stay uh, awake till maybe like two, three, just singing and praying. Like, it's very good. She's also a church girl. Yeah, so, but I don't show like a church girl, but I am on the, uh, a believer. So you try to pray then believe in your dreams, talk with your parents, like just ask for advice and everything. Believe in your dreams and try to work towards it and never quit. Even if they like try to underrate you or nobody supports you, just believe in yourself that you can make it and you see the change. So now um the main real talk, which which happens to be the last the last we are talking about. Um you know it's it, I think or I see it as a very big problem in African homes mm -hmm. when when you are up to 30 mm -hmm. you know and you aren't married especially to the women I don't know yeah. about the men the parents begin to like test their life some parents even go to their study like if you know you want to continue to stay that's as you have to be parents go get a husband so I, what do you have to talk say about parents visualizing their uh... children to get married why is it so important that I think it's married. our it's our parents' mentality, the way okay. they they grew up, you understand? Mm -hmm. So automatically that stuff it continues. It's, yeah. yeah. Transferring it from, exactly, generation, to generation. from generation to generation. But like for me, I think um my parents they have not they didn't really socialize me like that because yeah. uh, but now yes yeah, they started like ah at least bring the boyfriend in. I think they are right on that one. Uh -huh. Myself, I know they are right, but little by little, you know. I told them like and they approve. But it's just it's just so shocking when people, even people who are not even your parents, they're not even related to you. Sometimes yeah. they begin to tell you, when are you getting married? Are you married? Mm -hmm. uh, there's no ring a on the finger. A lot of people do ask that. me if I'm married. I don't even know why it's today. Can you imagine? I always tell them no. It's their mentality. And do you think there is anything we can do about this thing? Ah, uh, for me, it's not. I like, always continue. So. Except we now that are like our generation, yeah. like now we are upgrading so many things, mm. understand? so like that mentality will continue to but for the our old parents, we still continue. Oh. Okay, it's nice having you. I had so much had fun. And before you go, what mm -hmm. tribe are you from, anyways? I'm Yoruba. Hmm. Were you born here? No, I came when I was nine years. And had you people had you greet your greetings in the morning? You say Ekaroma, Ekarosa. You bend your head. Ah, you, you even need that self. Ah, I but, have to uh, do that. Yeah, so that is the before or even control. now. No, no, even now. Let's still do that. Yeah, like so, you example, must portray. Exactly. You must. If you are the guy, you portray. If you are a girl, you go on your knees. Even myself sometimes at a party when I see someone like elder. Yeah, I go on my knees. Although I don't go on my knees completely, I don't want to stay oh, my dress. Just, so just I just kind of a little oh, bit yeah, squirt. Exactly. Okay. Eka yeah. roll. And in the afternoon you say what? Eka so. Leave it. Eka le. Eka le. Don't ask me another question. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes nice to I just love to understand. I, tr I try to, you know, learn other people's language. Although I see it as punishment, but I don't have a choice. Sometimes it's very well. So, before you go, who would you love to give shout out to? Ooh, shout out to Uko Entertainment for giving me the opportunity to be to play in Torino and everything. Shout out to King of Bar, shout out to American Entertainment, my family. Shout out to mommy and daddy, I love you. Shout out to my brother. Shout out to 
QPMTV. Uh, QPMTV, more depression for this opportunity. It was nice being here and everything. I talk a lot, so you don't mind. Me. No, I actually enjoyed it. This <laughs> we're just flowing. Be... But can you rap? You say you love music. Hey, can you I rap? Can rap oh. You can rap. I can rap. Just rap. I can sing church music for you. No, we don't want to do church. I know the Kelly Kelly, my Kelly Kelly love. Cucu is scratch and all that. Yeah. Oh, it's nice having you. Thanks so much for coming. I had fun. Please keep subscribing. And again, please um, also uh, also please follow us on page and uh, share with your friends. Please, please, please. You guys have been so marvelous you've been so wonderful the the love under one month with the page has been has been amazing i didn't even expect it but thank you guys for all the follows on different uh, social media platform instagram facebook page youtube i really appreciate it. please keep doing that and let god keep blessing you until i come your way next time with another favorite celebrity don't go away see your girl muddy precious qpm tv